Hello, and welcome to the Sonic Fanbase, the one fanbase in the world that can actually make you go mentally insane. The Sonic Fanbase is one of the most confusing things in the history of the universe, but with the help of this video, you may be able to understand a bit of this fandom before you inevitably kill yourself from all the stress and confusion. No promises, though. First and foremost, you need to understand that you are a Sonic fan no matter what. If you only like one game, only played 30 seconds of a game, or heard his name once or twice, then you're ready to deem yourself as a Sonic fan, and it's time to venture into the internet so you can contribute to this absolutely amazing fandom. Hope you like to argue, because that's all the Sonic fanbase likes to do. If someone makes a video or writes a post saying their opinion on a game that you don't agree with, make a counter video claiming that this person is either an overly cynical critic who doesn't understand quality in front of their face, or they are a mindless sheep who will love anything Sega puts in front of them, even if you haven't even played the game yourself. Perhaps you want to join in on the fun of game critics and start making your own review videos online. You can become one of those people who constantly yell that Sonic is failing, but continuously throw your money at Sonic Team so you can talk about their games on the internet. You could make a video giving some honest critique in your personal opinion, but there are so many varying opinions on every Sonic game that exists that if people actually manage to find your opinion, they won't give it their time or thought because it's just another random opinion on a game that received a yellow ranking on Metacritic. So you're going to have to find a way to stand out. You need to take your opinion and shred it, burn it, and throw the ashes out of a 50-story window. If you're going to make a Sonic review video, you need to say what people want you to say. It's important that you understand that the words mediocre and okay don't exist in the Sonic fanbase's vocabulary. Instead, you need to use extreme words of the spectrum like terrible and... Uh... Oh, dang it. Uh, is something wrong? It's just... I know there's another word for the other end, it's just... It's used so rarely, I can't remember. Eh, you know what, I'm sure this is all you'll need to know anyway. Sonic games have a tendency to create a bunch of new characters with just about every installment. Sometimes they can be good, but to you, the only characters that are worthy to be in the series are Sonic the Hedgehog, Knuckles the Echidna, and Spoiled Brat the Fox! Sonic, help! Shut up! Um, do the online videos sound intimidating to you? Well, that's alright. You can just join the Sonic community on social media. Are you an artist? How about we join in on the community on DeviantArt? <laughs> eh, I'm sure you didn't need those anyway, right? You could get creative and make your very own recolor of Sonic, or write your very own Sonic X Amy fanfiction. Oh, Amy. I think you just stole my heart. I could steal your virginity as well, Sonic. Oh, come on, Sonic. You could do way better than her. Shut up, Tails! Maybe we should stray away from DeviantArt. Luckily, there are plenty of other social media sites you can participate with the Sonic fanbase in. Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, the possibilities are endless. For your first post, why don't you create a meme basically saying that a mixed-rated Sonic game is worse than Sin, and then disable the comments so you don't have to deal with any mindless Sonic fans. I could make a better game than Sonic Lost World in three days with nothing but dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. Tails, I swear... If you open your mouth one more f after that, how about you make a bunch of posts saying how god tier level Sonic Adventure 2 is, and ever since that game, Sega hasn't even come close to good quality. Or if you're old school, make a post about how only the Genesis games are good, because you could go so fast in them. It's game over! If you want to make a post without triggering anyone, just make a post saying how great Sonic 2 is. You can't go wrong with that. And this thing that was never really actually no, there. Sonic was never good. What? So you can go wrong with that? That even in his Genesis days, Sonic just wasn't fun. I've never believed that. Wait, so then what is it? Sonic 06 and Sonic Boom are just as bad as each other. This is one of the worst Sonic games I have ever played. What? So which one's the worst? I thought everyone was in agreement with this. Sonic Forces isn't very good. Sonic Forces, the best Sonic game ever made? You're Wha trying to say I'm Sonic going to have to <laughs> disagree. <laughs> Sonic Boom Rides at Lost World may not be the, the worst more I started to really enjoy it. <sighs> you know what? <laughs> Screw it. Sonic Adventure 2 is garbage. The only good parts were the levels with me in it. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Reactigated here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, before we get to the end card, I just want to give a huge thank you to Adam from Something Else YT and my friend Jared from J Motions. 
go subscribe to them if you have not already. They're some awesome people and they helped me make this video by voicing as the characters Sonic and Amy in the cringy fanfiction earlier. I think you just stole my heart, Amy. I can give it back. Um... Um, okay, uh, I need to go take care of something now, so, uh, be sure to subscribe and... Okay, bye!